there are five people trapped in the Ocean Gate submarine. Today, we are going to talk about the five people trapped in the Titan submersible made by Ocean Gate. Earlier in the day, we all learned the rescue teams have finally found the Titan submersible. There was a catastrophic implosion that has killed everyone on board the Titan. A remotely operated vehicle found a large debris field, which included five different major pieces of the debris. The ROV found the tail cone of the Titan about 1600 feet from the bow of the Titanic shipwreck. These are the missing five who lost their life while exploring the depths of the ocean. Hamish Harding was a British man who happened to be on the submersible when it disappeared. He was an avid skydiver and a jet pilot by trade with 16 different airspeed records. The unhappy Brit was a Cambridge graduate with degrees in natural sciences and chemical engineering. The billionaire made his wealth by selling aircraft through his Dubai-based company Action Aviation, which is a private jet dealership he founded. Action Aviation also aids in aircraft management as well as brokerage and financing for aircraft. As for why a billionaire would be in a dangerous submarine, it's because he's an adventurer like Richard Branson. Hamish Harding has shown his desire for daring and exhilaration many times throughout his blessed life. While he's not working as chairman of his aviation company in the UAE or flying jets, He's outside exploring the world. The British adventurer has explored the depths of the Mariana Trench, earning him a spot on the Guinness World Records for the longest time spent during one of his submersible dives into the deepest parts of the mysterious Mariana Trench. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome living legend Hamish Harding. Um, I'd also like to thank my wonderful team in Action Aviation who are here mostly tonight. Um, He's visited the South Pole with Buzz Aldrin, the second man to step on the moon. Hamish Harding was the oldest person to reach the South Pole at the ripe old age of 86. When Amazon founder Jeff Bezos decided he wanted to go to space, Hamish Harding decided he wanted to join in the fun as well. Hamish flew to space on Blue Origin's fifth human crewed flight. In 2019, Hamish Harding teamed up with Terry Wirtz from NASA to set a new Guinness World Record for the shortest time taken to circumnavigate the Earth, crossing both South and North Poles while flying in a Gulfstream business jet. Harding was the mission director and crew pilot for the One More Orbit flight mission that earned him that world record. Hamish and his team broke the world record with a time of 46 hours and 40 minutes. The point I'm trying to make is Hamish Harding likes adventure and that's why he paid $250,000 to visit the Titanic wreckage in Ocean Gate submersible Titan. His excitement for the Ocean Gate expedition was palpable. Hamish Harding told everyone he was proud to finally announce he was joining Ocean Gate expeditions for their RMS Titanic mission at Adventure. He also said he was proud to join the expedition and said this would probably be the only excursion to the Titanic wreckage this year because of poor weather conditions. That was the last Instagram post before he vanished down into the depths on a Sunday. We've just got back from Kilimanjaro and we had a wonderful climb up Kilimanjaro with Giles and Robert. Um, it was an amazing climb and I'd recommend it to anybody except uh, we didn't know how hard the summit night was. Luckily we'd done no research on the subject so we actually didn't know how bad it would be and, and so I probably wouldn't have gone if I'd known actually. Our next man trapped in a submersible is Stockton Rush. He's important because without Stockton Rush the Titan submersible wouldn't exist. Stockton Rush is the CEO and founder of Ocean Gate Expeditions. Stockton used to have dreams of becoming an astronaut. Unfortunately his eyesight wasn't good enough to qualify as an astronaut, so he chose a different path in life. Stockton Rush loved space so much, he became a pilot after completing training from the United Airlines Jet Training Institute at the tender age of 19. He flew planes across Europe and the Middle East during his summers between college. Stockton would go on to graduate from Princeton with a degree in aerospace engineering. He would work as a flight test engineer on the F-15 program at McDonnell Douglas Corporation.
mission. Stockton also spent two years working on radar tests and anti-missile programs at Edwards Air Force Base. After that, he got an MBA from UC Berkeley. Even after so many years, Stockton still wanted to go to space. Up till 2007, he served on the Museum of Flight's Board of Trustees in Washington. It was only after Richard Branson launched Virgin Galactic to space that Stockton Rush realized he did not want to go to space as a tourist at all. He wanted to be Captain Kirk on the Star Trek Enterprise, going on wild adventures across the cosmos. In 2009, Stockton created the company OceanGate to build submersibles capable of diving underwater to reach the depths of the ocean. He believes the sea offers humanity the best chance of survival once climate change decimates the planet. According to him, humanity will one day live in underwater cities to escape the apocalypse on the surface world. Stockton is currently known as the owner and victim of the Ocean Gate submersible, which was previously missing. Sadly, we all know the Titan submersible imploded and there were no survivors. It seems he believed that his submersible was so safe, he decided to join its deep sea expeditions again. You can't really blame him for having faith when he survived Titan's first dive to the Titanic wreckage in July 2021, two years ago. Moving on, among the people inside the submersible was a father-son duo from Pakistan, Shahzada Dawood and his son Suleiman Dawood. If anyone's worried about why a Pakistani family would use their life savings to pay for a $250,000 seat on the Ocean Gate submersible, you don't have to worry. Mr. Dawood and his son hail from a very rich family. Shahzada Dawood's father, Hussein Dawood, is one of Pakistan's richest men with a $370 million net worth. It's a series of experiences about change. And that's why I believe that I am the change. According to his World Economic Forum profile, Shahzada Dawood is the vice chairman of his father's company, Angro Corporation, which deals in food, agriculture, energy, chemicals, and telecommunication. Shahzada Dawood is also responsible for running the company's telecom division and manages the agriculture part of the company. The, the knowledge of the local community of the, how, how, the, uh, how the environment is. He also sits on the board of the Dawood Foundation and Prince Charles Charity, the Prince Trust International. Shahzada's son Suleiman is 19 years old. He is a volleyball lover and studies business at the University of Rathclyde in the UK. Suleiman Dawood was also a fan of sci-fi novels. According to the aunt of the young Suleiman Dawood, the young man wasn't very up for the trip. He had to follow his dad, who was actually the one who was obsessed with the Titanic since childhood. Unfortunately, Can you say that your nephew was aware uh, that this was scary. Well, my nephew was a normal human being, a normal human being at 19 who had to go down that kind of tunnel and get into that kind of environment would obviously be scared. That's pretty normal. Um, so yeah, he was scared as any 19 year old would be. What he was, what's different about him to Sean is that he was just phenomenally trusting. He was the most kind, innocent, caring person. Both father and son will never be able to return to their Surrey mansion in the UK to reunite with their family. Our final victim of the Ocean Gate submersible is a Frenchman who goes by the name Paul Henry Najulet. This is the same man who inspired James Cameron to make the Titanic movie. In his home country of France, Paul is known as a superhero or Mr. Titanic because he spent more than 20 years in the French Navy before joining many expeditions to visit the famous Titanic wreckage at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. During his time in the French Navy, Mr. Paul Henry Nagiolet piloted intervention submarines and specialized in mine clearance, diving, and deep sea intervention. Paul was the first person who managed to retrieve an object, a silver plate, from the Titanic wreckage. Paul would be tapped by French's Ocean Research Institute, Fremer, to supervise the recovery of thousands of artifacts from the Titanic. It was the photos he took during his infamous 
first dives that convinced James Cameron to make his blockbuster hit The Titanic. Many of Paul's friends think of him as a good leader under stressful situations. He was one of the few people in the submersible who experts believed would help calm the shocked passengers within the sub. Paul was larger than life and will be remembered by his family and close relatives. 